quick roundup of 2018. Just wanted to say and do a quick roundup of 2018. Going to talk quickly about what's been going on, what our thoughts have been, what we've been doing, and what our plans are next. Thanks to friends and family. You know, we've always, oh, we always need support in whatever we do, and I think you know, without them, we wouldn't be anywhere. And I also just want to say thank you to everybody that's helped me in the business. We've got Harry who joined us earlier this year. We've got a lot of other freelancers, accountants, suppliers, they've all been brilliant. So a big thank you to you guys for really helping out and making everything work well this year. But what have we been doing in 2018? So we've had some pretty memorable projects. The first thing that really happened in 2018 was we have finished Punch Infinity, which is a interactive configurator and it's literally taken me about four years to build this up. It's a framework that you can visualize products in. We've just had a client now come on board to do kitchen tiles with. So they'll be able to change the kitchen tiles inside the configurator. I'm, I'm gonna go in more into detail into this in maybe another video at some point. Um, but for me, that 2018, that was the big thing that I wanted to get nailed. Other than Punch Infinity, there have been a lot of the usual stuff. There's been like a lot of architecture stuff. As well, we've kind of continued with the digital room sets as well, visualizing kitchens for, for marketing products and bathrooms. We even did a, a computer data center earlier in November as well. So again, we've kind of had a real mix of projects. I mean, one of the most unusual ones that we're just coming to finish up now is we have been visualizing urinals, but it's taking them products and just making them look as nice as possible and making them as marketable as possible for their, for their audience. So what's been happening with Punch Digital? Um, mainly we've been carrying on doing a lot, of the, a lot of the same work that we've done for the past six years. But the big step really, I said, has been, has been Harry coming in and trying to build up that team in-house rather than relying too much on external freelancers. It also gives me a chance to take a step back from doing the work and I can delegate that out, but it also gives us a step back to look at the development side of things, a bit of research, a bit of development, a bit of pushing the business forward we started looking down the augmented reality side of things that we thought what's going to be easy and accessible to use really quickly and so we have done a little bit of development around augmented reality and around the snapchat uh, lenses one was a halloween thing with a big devil horn and red face and look kind of, kind of cool and scary the other one we've done is for christmas which is a nutcracker where your face is projected onto a 3d animated uh, toy soldier nutcracker Two very different approaches. I personally prefer the Halloween one. I think it's really engaging and kind of like cool and fun and that sort of thing. Whereas the Christmas one is maybe less that, but it was just, we just want to try a different way of looking at things. And the Halloween one, it got shared about 650,000 times. I don't know if these metrics are any of use or not, but to me that sounds like a big number. As I say, we've also been looking at the augmented stuff. It seems like Google and Apple are really pushing this a little bit more as well. They're, they're making it even easier for people to, to develop. Um, so we're kind of jumping on that a little bit and trying to see how we can make it as easy as possible for customers to use augmented reality with their products and their, their ideas. Companies like IKEA are already doing this. It's interesting to sort of see what they're doing, how we could improve it and you know, how we could make it easy again for, for our customers kind of had a little bit of a look at VR as well. I've got a big sticking point with VR at the moment is that it's not very easy to use. You've got to have a headset, you've got to have space, you've got to physically put the thing on and be comfortable in that environment as well. And I think that's gonna be a big stumbling block for VR. I think for training purposes, and I think for really serious gamers, and maybe even arcades, um, then I think that it's going to be big. But for just a general use, like sitting, sitting at home, I don't think it's going to kick off that much. So for me, we're going to keep an eye on VR. We're not going to be focusing on it at all. Um, we might put together a little demo or two if there's something that really needs it next year. 
but for now we're just probably going to just keep a keep a distant watch on it really i found myself doing towards the middle of the year taking a big step back and just really thinking about how i can approach these things differently but it wasn't until this year that i read the brew dogs business for punks book and that was really inspiring I recommend anybody to read that that kind of likes to try to do things a little bit differently um, they're very disruptive and I like that ethos how it applies to punch digital i'm not too sure but i think it's a really good mentality and a way to be and i also read this book as well um, the one thing again it's kind of like a mindset thing rather than a rather than a to-do thing then with the two books that i've read this year they've really impacted on how i then approached maybe like the last third of the year and how it's probably going to affect 2019 as well but as well as already mentioned we're going to be looking at augmented reality as well i say i think this is going to be big next year i think a lot of people are seeing the seeing the purpose of it and i think gaming board games things like that are going to be big in augmented reality they've already started to kick off now punch infinity is going to be carrying on next year as well with development so we finished the first one now but that doesn't mean we're going to stop with that we're going to see what can be done next how can we make that better do we need to add in things like making everything spin around so you can see it from various angles or do we incorporate some augmented reality into that i don't really know but what i'm saying is we're not going to stop stand still with these projects we're going to keep moving forward but the next thing really in 2019 is just to carry on this ethos that i kind of built up over the last year or so and it's just about making things as easy as possible for clients trying to make it easy for them to visualize their products in whatever that means if it's still images animations videos vr ar 3d printing anything even if it means a photographer if a client comes to me and says i want to visualize something and the best option turns out to be a photographer i'll guide them towards a decent photographer So, that's it for now. It's nearly Christmas. What is it today? The 17th today. So, a few more working days to go until Christmas. Hope everyone has a brilliant Christmas and a fantastic New Year. And I will hopefully catch up with everybody in January. <laughs>